What is up, guys? Pie Muffin here, and we are back with some more Trails to Azure. Last time, we had part two of the Minith case, in which we did learn a lot about uh, Minith, and we were able to put a stop to his plan, seemingly, at least for now. Uh, Minith is actually the one who swindled the Kapuas, you know, we learned about this back in the Sky Games, who swindled the Kapuas out of their estate, you know, promised them a whole bunch of stuff, thought they'd make them even more rich, but instead ran away with all their money. Um, so that explains how Josette and her family ended up, you know, turning to petty crime. Um, but we did put a stop to his plan, and uh, the, the only question I really had is we put a stop to his plan, but Derek had already signed the paperwork, so couldn't he just take that and run with it? But I guess the fact that all of the Crossbell Police Force knows about it, like, there's no way he can just come back in and be like, oh, hey, I own this property, by the way, uh, when he, we were already trying to arrest him. So I guess having a signature in that case really doesn't do him any good. Oh, yeah, what do you have to say? Well, I'll be tarred and feathered. Minith was a swindler all along. Say, about this horrible truck I bought from him, what do I do with it now? <clears throat> If I remember right, you bought it for a 50,000 mirror while the market value is closer to 500,000. That is a bit of a problem. For the time being, it would probably be best if you turned it over to the police. Since it was sold and purchased through a, a legitimate transaction, it will probably be given back to you in the end. True, though whether the truck is legal in the first place will need to be investigated as well. Alright, I'll go ahead and contact the police then. He already spent the 50k, though, so he's... I mean, he, at least he's not making a big deal about it. Turns out I bought this shiny new truck from a crook. Guess I better contact the police. Yeah, I mean, Elkin may be a little not there completely, but he's not, like, a bad guy. Um. Okay, yeah, so next we are going to do the Capua delivery service thing. So no, let's go ahead and head Nobody back to Crossbell City. And then, uh, we'll go to the station. <clears throat> I don't actually remember the name of the guy that, uh, you know, he was there during the whole, like, preparations for the school festival in Cold Steel 1. I don't remember his name, but it would not surprise me if it's the exact same guy. You know, the guy who kept mixing up everyone's deliveries. I believe they said Crossbell Station, right? Uh, oh no, Crossbell Airport. Okay, so let's head further down. Oh, is it you? No, you're Billy. We had some packages that were delivered to the wrong addresses earlier. Technically, it's the fault of whoever wrote them down, but I still should have noticed something was amiss. If it weren't for my other deliveries, I'd be able to lend a hand. I can't help but feel like I'm laying them down. All right, well, let's let's find our Kapua friend. I wonder if he's going to be in uniform. Yep, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, are you with the Kapua Delivery Service? Yeah, I am. Who are you guys? We're with the Special Support Section of the Crossbell Police. We came to speak with you about the support request you submitted. Oh, so it's you. Thanks a bunch. I'm in a real bind here. The job's gonna take a while to complete, though. Are you ready to start now? Yeah. Of course, you can count on us. <coughs> the request was about some misdelivered packages, right? Yep, and boy, were they misdelivered. See, our company delivers parcels to places all over the continent. I'm aware. But unfortunately, we made an error when we were here in Crossbell. And Erebonia. Several packages were listed with incorrect addresses by our staff and sent to the wrong locations. That does sound like a problem. How does such a mistake happen to multiple packages at once? Well, our president's a little bit of a scatterbrain, to put it nicely. They're obviously talking about, uh, what's his name? The guy with the scar. Um, Don? That was his name? That's what they always call him, Don. And this isn't the first time something like this has happened either. Yeah, Erebonia. Oh, no, they're talking about the uh, the Joshua letter. 
like the, in Sky Third, we had that little story. You know, there was a letter that was supposed to go to from Joshua to Josette, but then uh, they ended up sending that away. Wow, doesn't sound like your president's the most meticulous person out there. I won't deny it, but he's a good man. When we had nowhere to go, he took us in with open arms. Eh, sorry to get off topic there. Long story short, I need you to help straighten out all the packages that ended up at the wrong addresses. We usually have a local shipping company handle the cargo once it gets to Crossbell State, so I'd have no idea where I was going. Sounds simple enough. Do you happen to have a bead on where all these errant deliveries are? Ah, uh, yes, according to what I have here, a parcel intended for Ursula Hospital ended up at Mains der uh, Ziegel Inn. Okay. What St. Ursula received instead was originally bound for a private home in the residential district. Okay. Oh, so that's it? It's just those two? I'd like for you to go to each of those places, reclaim the misdelivered packages, and get them to their rightful recipients. Okay, so it doesn't seem like it's going to be like... You know, the Arabonia one where it was like six people we kept having to like, oh, this wasn't for me. All right, take it to actually it belonged to. Oh, you're also going to need these. I take it this is the package that was supposed to go to Der Ziegel. Oh, so it's three. Okay. And this shipping label. So we're only, yeah, yeah, okay. And the shipping label was supposed to be attached to the one that was delivered to St. Ursula. That's right. So first off, deliver this little parcel to Durzegel Inn. Then the package there should go to St. Ursula Hospital, which means you'll have to swap with, uh... You know, the more I try to sort this out in my head, the more confusing it gets. Basically, we just need to exchange and re-deliver the packages in order. Uh, yes, that, do that. Sorry, I know this is a mess. I'm counting on your help. Don't worry, I think we can handle it. Let's start by going to Durs Eagle in, Ma in Mainz first. This is going to be a pain in the ass, isn't it? I mean, I will take any of these long-winded quests as long as there's not fighting involved. Sometimes, sometimes it's just nice to have a break from the combat. Um, but yeah, we have to head to Durs Eagle first. Which means we're going to grab the car. Let's actually, since we're here, let's report in what we have. Should just be two, right? Alright, that's another level up. I wonder when we're going to start getting the quartz that you need the level two stuff for. Because obviously it was like that in the later Sky games. Uh, eventually too, but we're still even at a point where we don't have any quartz that require two yet. Oh, no, we do. We have Invigorate. Okay, here's one. Gain CP by attacking enemies on the field. You know what? Give me that one. Oh, wait. Uh. Huh? Oh, I guess you can't use it if you're using... Okay, so that's fine. But yeah, I'll definitely take that. Yes. Alright, let's head to the Der Ziegel Inn. Or again, you have anything new to say? Arkan Seal will be debuting their revival performance the day after tomorrow. So, two days from now. I'd love to see one of their shows someday, if even just once. Maybe I'd sit next to a fine gentleman with appreciation for theater and we could strike up a romantic chat. I can't tell if she's more interested in the show or the imaginary gentleman. She really is desperate, that one. Hey, if it isn't the kids from the police. Y'all looking to book a room with us? Not quite. We came to ask about a case we're working on. Have you received any strained packages recently by any chance? Strained packages? Oh, as a matter of fact, the most peculiar delivery came in earlier. Why anyone thought to send it to us, I couldn't be even begin to guess. <clears throat> Do you happen to know something about it? Jackpot. Well, actually... Oh, so that's what happened. So the package we received was supposed to go to St. Ursula, then. No wonder it was chock full of scapples and such. 
I can only imagine how disconcerting it was when they suddenly arrived. You don't know the half of it. Luca got so spooked she was hell-bent on throwing them out in the trash tomorrow. Well, it's a good thing we made it in time. Here, let me give you the package you were supposed to receive. Thank you very much. Now, let's have a look-see. Yep, these are the Liberian drinking glasses I ordered a while back. I'm positive this package is ours. Glad to be of service. Now then, can we please have the package that was misdelivered to you? Of course, give me a moment. I'm curious what these drinking glasses look like. I mean, I assume they're just like, like, maybe like wine glasses. Or they could even just be like normal drinking glasses, just have a liberal, like, logo on them. Thanks, we will. Alright, let's drop by St. Ursula Hospital next. We should inquire at the reception desk. Yep, so I assume the hospital, not like the restaurant. <clears throat> All right. Off to St. Ursula we go. How many hours in are we? Close to 40 hours now. <laughs> I'd say we're about halfway through the game. Uh, oh wait, no. I don't want to go there. Welcome back to St. Ursula Hospital, SSS. What can we do for you today? About that, Sarah, there's something we need to ask you. It concerns one of our requests. Oh, so that's what that package was. Our nurse admin Martha was racking her brain over it. She thought uh, maybe a nurse made a mistake with the purchase order. A mistake, you say? Yes, it happens. One of our um, clumsier nurses has done something to that effect in the past. Multiple times, in fact. Did she now? So does that mean the package is currently at the nurse's station? Yes, it should be. Feel free to go to the second floor and have a look for yourself. Well, here's hoping. It really makes your heart go out to the poor nurse who was falsely accused. Just a little. Anyway, let's head upstairs. Is it the one who's always so, like, kind of not fully there? Uh, the one that, you know, likes going on dates with, like, Brandy? Yeah, uh, this one, what's her name? Philia, that's right. Oh, so it's not her. I heard Dr. Salen's going back to the drawing board to come up with a procedure to restore Shiga's, pre, Shizuku's eyesight. Thank goodness. She seemed so down about what happened. I was starting to avoid her. I'm glad she's shifting back into focus. Not that I'm surprised. Dr. Salen's got nerves of steel. She could stay calm and rational through any crisis. Well, they said the nurse's station. This is the nurse's station, right? Uh, I thought that was it. Am I wrong? The package they received is at the nurse's station. I thought this, this is the nurse center. Oh, back here maybe? Ah, here we go. Honestly, so oh, so it's her. Honestly, Serone, you should be old enough to know better than this. Why is it you can't place a simple order without making these mistakes? No, 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 there's gotta be some other explanation. Just ask Mephia, she even watched me put the order together. I mean, sure, it took me 20 tries before I got the numbers right, but we did it eventually. Uh, the things Mephia has to put up with, you're lucky she's so fond of you. Pardon us, did something happen? Mm? Oh, hello, SSS. Serona here was tasked with placing an order for medical supplies, but we've run into a problem of sorts. The package that arrived didn't have any supplies. Instead, it had some kind of worn-out doll inside. Goddess knows why. Mind you, this isn't Serona's first offense. Earlier this year, she botched an order of bedsheets, too. Oh, come on. Why won't you believe me? I'm telling you, I know I got it right. Lloyd, are you thinking the same thing I am? Yeah, there's no doubt in my mind. What are you two referring to? Uh, we might know a thing or two about what happened here. Missed delivery, so the package we received was never meant for us to begin with? 
That's right, we're currently in the middle of sorting it all out. Would this happen to be the package you were expecting? Hmm, it appears so. These are the medical tools I placed an order for. Thank you for coming all this way to deliver them to us, SSS. I suppose I owe you an apology, Serana. I hope you can forgive me. I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions like that. Aw, oh, it's all water under the bridge, as long as you're not still mad at me. I almost forgot. They should have put somewhere in here. What's she digging around for? Ah, oh, there it is. My new Kagemaru strap. Since they were already placing an order, I figured I may as well add this to the package, too. Isn't he just adorable? Serone, perhaps we are going to have to have another talk after all. Sorry to interrupt, but if you wouldn't mind, can we take the package you received by mistake? We'll make sure it gets to the right person. Why, of course. Just give me a moment. Ah, there it is. Be careful with it now. Thanks. We'll take care of it from here. Let's see. According to the shipping label that Aaron gave us... This package was meant for a private res address in the residential district. Now all we have to do is deliver it, and the request will be complete. Residential district? It must be one of the homes near Speaker McDowell's, then. Do you recognize this address, Ellie? Let me take a closer look. I think I do, but this address, if I'm not mistaken, it's the empty house to the right of Re Representative Campbell's. Wait... Isn't that the house people kept saying was haunted ten years back? Yes, that's the one. The hell? Then what's going on? Is it possible someone moved in recently? I couldn't really say for sure. Only one way to find out is to head there ourselves. Let's go deliver this package. Alright. One more delivery to make. And then, uh... This little... This, this little wild goose chase will be done. It's definitely a lot more work physically for them than what Reen had to do because Reen just had to run around the school and you know re-deliver packages we're running all over Crossbell State all right so uh back to the garage and we'll head to the residential district man must be a really long game of hide and seek if Momo hasn't found them yet I'm playing hide-and-seek with Ryu and Henri, but I can't find them at all. Where'd they go? Uh, right over there and right over there. Good luck. So, Representative Campbell's is this one right here, right? Yeah, this is Representative Campbell's home. <clears throat> we don't have any business here, so there's no bothering right now. Agreed. Shall we move on? So, it should be this one. This is definitely the address. You're right, but... Yeah, it doesn't look like anyone's living here. The place doesn't exactly feel lived in, know what I mean? Did someone mess up? Maybe the sender wrote down the wrong address? It's possible. <clears throat> Even if they did, the delivery slip doesn't actually list a recipient, only a destination. Either way, we aren't going to find out anything for sure unless we ask. What's wrong, Tio? Ah, uh, nothing. Hold on, look. It's open? It was a little ajar, so I thought it might be. Well, we may as well show ourselves in and see if someone really did order this. Yeah, I guess so. What is Tio confused about? Well, there's stuff in here. Car! I see that on the shelf. There's a car thing. We'll read that in a minute. Excuse us, is anyone home? What'd I tell you? No one lives here. But this definitely is the address listed on the delivery slip. The front entrance wasn't locked either. Who are you? Hi, little one. Huh? A girl? Oh, excuse us, little girl. Are you the only one home? We're here to deliver a package and... Oh, you mean she's finally here? Don't just stand there. Come in. The kid was so excited, she didn't even let you finish. Looks to me we found our recipient. She's clearly expecting a delivery, after all. That's odd, though. If there really was a little girl living here, I'm sure I'd have heard of it. 
Don't know what to tell you. You met the, ten the squirt ten seconds ago, same as the rest of us did. Just what the hell's going on here? I wish I had a good answer for that. But for now, let's follow her and see where that leads. Maybe she can give us a better idea of what her story is with this place. Well, here's the package you ordered, I think. Yay, she's finally come home. Upsy-daisy? That's one raggedy doll. Think it's one of those famous antiques, you know, from the Rosenberg studio? I don't think so. It doesn't look very expensive to me. So this doll, did it used to be one of yours, maybe? It literally just looks like her. She's not an it. She's my beloved little sister. Hee <laughs> hee, isn't she just adorable? Is she now? Well, thank goodness we were able to reunite the two of you then. Mm-hmm. Thank you, everyone. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to take her back to our bedroom. Am I the only one f who feels completely lost about this? It doesn't even seem like anyone else is home either. No parents or anything. What's wrong, Tio? Nothing. It was only my imagination, I think. Hey, who's in there? Someone's at the front door now? Another guest, perhaps? Her parents don't seem to be home, so maybe we should answer for her. Yeah, good call. Oh, it's Miss Imelda. Imelda? Well, if it isn't the SSS, then what are you doing in a place like this? Uh, well, we came on police business. What brings you all the way out here from your antique shop? Police business? What the devil for? This house has been completely abandoned for over a decade. As for what I'm doing here, I've been using this building as a warehouse for my merchandise for some time now. What's the matter? You look like as if you just saw a ghost. Alright, what's the big idea here? Even if Imelda's telling the truth about using this place for storage space, how do you explain the creepy little girl we just handed the doll to? Good question. We can always ask ourselves. I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for this. Right, there has to be. I'm pretty sure she went to that back door past the living room. What, are your ears screwed on right? I just told you no one lives here. What? Where'd that little girl go? Think she's hiding somewhere? Lloyd, look at those. Huh? There's just two dolls. Dolls? I recognize the one we just delivered, but... The other one... It looks like the girl we just spoke to. I think a lot of you owe me an explanation here. Wouldn't you say? Now spill it. Or would you rather arrest yourselves for trespassing? I don't think that's how it works, but I'll try to explain. I see, I see. Turns out what he said had a grain of truth in it after all. What are you talking about? I purchased one of those two dolls while traveling abroad many, many years back. They were said to have been crafted to resemble the daughters of a noble family from long ago. They were a set of twins, so two dolls were made. Unfortunately, I was only able to get my hands on one of them. There's nothing wrong with the doll, per se, but strangely, I could never convince anyone to even consider buying it. Or what does that last part have to do with anything? For a detective, you're astonishingly dim. The point is, you were made to deliver a second doll, whereupon you came across a mysterious girl who resembles the first. What I'm saying is, perhaps the doll came to life and summoned her twin to her, No. That's ridiculous! A certain man has always insisted to me that every doll has its own destiny. Perhaps the old fogey was on to something this whole time. Oh, was uh, is she talking about the guy at the doll studio? Every doll has its own destiny. Sorry, but this still sounds absurd to me. Are you telling us the girl we spoke to was a ghost of this doll? I refuse to believe it. The veracity of that claim aside... There is a substantial concentration of sp spiritual energy in this building. I can sense the presence of the three higher elements too, the way I could at the Moon Temple and Stargazer Tower. In other words, 
What we witnessed may have been a spiritual phenomenon of sorts. The spiritual phenomenon? That would explain the hair standing up on the back of my neck. Man, this would have been a hell of a lot easier if, this, <laughs> if we were all just hallucinating. But if Tio Todd says there's something to it, I'm not going to tell her otherwise. You're kidding, right? I don't want to believe any of this. My, but it's fun to watch you all shiver and tremble yourselves silly. At the end of the day, whether or not you put any stock into the blatherings of that reclusive doll fanatic is up to you. But one thing is for certain, and that is... Now that those sisters are reunited, they can finally find a proper home. By which I mean a pr prospective buyer. And that's good news for my bottom line. <laughs> it's always about the money, huh, old bag? Anyway, this wraps up this request, I think. Let's go back and report to Capwood Delivery Service employee. Right, the sooner we leave this house of horrors, the better. Hey, looks like you managed to get all the packages where they needed to go. You guys are lifesavers. Thanks, SSS. It was no problem. So, uh, not that it's any of my business, but... Is she okay? Her face is kind of pale. Mumble. It couldn't have been. We didn't talk to her, did we? I guess she's still a little bit haunted by the experience. I don't blame her. Give her some time and she'll be fine. Yeah, don't worry about it too much. If you say so. Anyway, I'd best be going now. If I ever need help in Crossbell again, I'll let you know. Call us anytime. We'll be happy to assist. Alright, well that takes care of that. Now I do wonder, before we go handle the, uh, the thing in Michelin... Um, I do want to see if we can get back in that building, because I did see that car book on the shelf. Yeah, we'll definitely handle the Michelin thing in this video, too, so that way, next time, we can just head straight for the doll studio. Oh, cool, we can go in here. Deep paint work, okay. Anything else on any of these other shelves? Thank you for your efforts, SSS. I should be able to find a new home for these dolls now that you've reunited them into a marketable set. Not to be Rudy Melda, but aren't you the slightest bit afraid of them? Selling a pair of haunted dolls is the sort of thing that can, well, curse a person. How would I ever stay in business in this business if I was afraid of a few measly ghouls? Besides, my dear girl, do you truly think these are the only potential haunt and haunted items I'm keeping here? Perhaps I could interest you in a ring said to bring misfortune to its owners, one after another. I think we'll pass. Perhaps the bizarre collection of items she stores here is the reason this place is so saturated with spiritual energy. So in other words, it's the old bag's fault? Makes sense to me. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else in here. We'll definitely have to check out that uh, new paint job, though. Alright, but for the time being, let's just head over to the Harbor District. Let's hop on a boat. Calling all passengers to Michelin. The ship will be departing shortly. Please board at your earliest convenience. One of our support requests came from the theme park, didn't it? That's right. It involved helping Mishy in some way or another. I wonder what they need of us need us to do there. Though it truly matter, Mishy needs our assistance. We have no time to lose. Well, I think we all need Teotot's stance on this. Something tells me this is going to be one to remember. We shouldn't head to Michelin unless we're absolutely ready to handle that request. Should we get going? Yeah. Alright, no time like the present.
Lloyd and the others boarded the cruise ship bound for Michelin. After arriving, they made their way to the front gates of the theme park where the client was waiting. Okay, so we're not going to be able to walk around. Oh, what a pickle. This is liable to throw off the entire morning schedule. Um, excuse us, we're CPD's special support section. Would you happen to be Hanks? We're here for the request you submitted. Oh, that's right. You're, so you're the SSS? Hmm, let's see. Hmm. Yes, I think you'll be a perfect fit. No sizing adjustments necessary. What? Wait, sizing adjustments? I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Would you mind explaining your request? Oh, how careless of me. My apologies. I'm sure you're all familiar with our park's mascot mission, yes? No breathing soul could no more. Teal Todd here is a bit of an obsession. But yeah, we know him. Hard to live in Crossbell too long without seeing the fluff ball around. Does Mishy have something to do with your request? It just so happens he does. The thing is, we received some bad news this morning. The actor who's portrayed Mishy since the park opened, well, he told us he wasn't going to make it. Make it? You don't mean... Oh, goodness, no. Nothing that dire. Just a sudden case of upset stomach. The plan is for him to get some medicine at St. Ursula and return to work as soon as he's able. If all goes well, he'll be back in action as early as this afternoon. Still, that leaves the problem of the morning performance. That's where you come in. I need someone to don the fur and be Mishy Stand-In for a few hours. Mishy Stand-In? Hey, that sounds pretty fun. Alright, where do I get chain... Yeah, I don't think so. You're far too tall to fit in the costume. On the other hand, I think your pal here with the overly serious expression would be perfect. Me? Oh, come on! I was going to use that kitty suit as a free pass to pick up chicks. Damn you, Lloyd. How's that my fault? It's probably for the best, otherwise Randy would have given catfishing a whole new meaning. Oh my god. So back to the matter at hand, you think you can do it? Well, we didn't come all this way for nothing. We'll take the job. Phew, I owe you one. Now then, if there's nothing more to cover, let's... Uh, Tio, is there something wrong? You've been quiet the past few minutes. Costume? Actor? Upset stomach? Medicine? What's gotten into her? Pulling back the curtain might have been more than she could handle. I'd be very careful with the very next words you say. I'll do what I can. Hey, um, Tio? No need to mind me. Mishy needs us, and I will make sure to contribute as actively as I can. That's the spirit, Tio Tot. I don't know if I like the way she phrased that. Is she really okay? It's like when you find out Santa Cla Well, uh, let me not go there, actually. You know what I mean, though. <laughs> Good. Now, if you just follow me to the locker room. Sure, lead the way. Well, how do I look? Adorable, actually. Yeah, it really screams you. In what way? It's a full bodysuit, Noel. So, you comfortable in there? Looks like you get pretty toasty. I'm sure it will. It's not the most breathable outfit I've ever worn, to say the least. Luckily, the head is... The height is right. It feels a bit loose, though, so it's a little weird to move in. Don't sweat the small stuff. You're going to be doing enough sweating in the costume as is. But man, is it going to be worth it. Mishy fangirls fawning over you, putting your arms around them with no hang-ups. I'd have plenty of hang-ups with that, for your information. Though, speaking of fangirls, where did Tia run off to? Now that you mention, I saw her catch the staff member's attention before walking away with him. Ta-da! Oh god, Tio, Tio dressed up as uh, Michette. What the? Is that you, Tio? Don't tell me my own older brother's forgotten my face. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my goodness, you look so cute, Tio. Isn't this character the one who likes to play hide and seek? Yes, I am Mishi's little sister, Michette. She is a selfless girl who is always uh, looking out for a clumsy oaf of an older brother with judgmental eyes. Judgmental? Right, we met her the last time we came to the theme park. She came up to me asking if she could help by playing the part of Michette. Technically, the regular Michette shift doesn't start until later, so I thought, what the heck? So that's where she went. 
By help out, do you mean... Yes, my intention is to supervise Lloyd's Mishy routine. Rest assured, his shins will rue every blunder he makes. Ah, uh, the brutal barbs of tough love. What an adoring little sister you have, Mishy. I just wish my shins got a say in it. Wait, shouldn't you be the one giving me directions? Sorry, but we won't have a chance. It's almost time for Mishy to start touring his way around the park. Listen, just ask yourself, what would Mishy do? And go from there. I'm sure it'll work out, probably. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Remember that the end of, at the end of your morning tour, you're scheduled to do the Mishy dance in the main plaza. That one I did prepare a manual for. Skim it and remember, remember what you can. Uh, let's just screenshot that just in case. Don't forget to close the show on Mishy's signature catchphrase. Let's dance and make a wishy with Mishy. Okay. <laughs> well, that's helpful. That catchphrase, I get it, but this passion and pizzazz part is a little vague. To tell you the truth, we generally leave Mishy's characterization... Uh, with the patrons up to the actor. The entire history of this park, we've never needed a written manual. Until today, that is. So if you make a mistake, you make a mistake. Don't let it get you down too much. On the contrary, as the one supervising you, I will not tolerate even a single error. I'm getting conflicting signals here. Whoops, it's showtime. Let's wrap this up so you can get out there. All right, the rest of us will pass the time patrolling the park then. Break a leg, you two. Yeah, they get the easy part. They're just going to walk around the park. And they didn't even have to pay to come in this time. The time has come to prove yourself, Lloyd. Yeah, no pressure. I don't know how I'm going to pull this one off. I guess I'll just have to channel my inner Mishy. There's also that catchphrase. Let's dance and make a wishy with Mishy. Better not forget it. How do you, how do you make a star when you're talking? All right, get out there and make those kids' wishies come true. I'm counting on you, Mishy. You too, Michette. All right, it's at the entrance. Ah, here goes nothing. I just hope it all works out. Look sharp. Here comes our first patron. Wow, it's Mishy. Mom, Dad, look, he's really here. Well, so he is. How about that? Hey, hey, settle down, sweetie. You wouldn't want to tire yourself out before we get to those attractions. Yay, Mishy, 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 Mishy. Let me think. How would Mishy normally respond in a situation like this? Yeah, probably the first one. Have a me-he magical time. I will, thanks, Mishy. Come on, Mom, come on, Dad. Let's hurry up and go in. Ho ho, all right, all right. Now, now, no need to rush. We have an entire day of fun ahead of us. Please don't kick my shins. I'll do good, I promise. Phew, did I do okay? Very much so, Lloyd. Your me he he was particularly inspired. Thanks, though. I can't say it's easy to say without getting embarrassed. Me he he. Ahem, you get used to it. Wow, Tio, you're a pro already. That was surprisingly cute coming from her. Keep up the good work. Hey, Noel, Wazzy. Well, if it isn't the SSS's dynamic sibling duo. Thank goodness you're here, Lloyd. I have an urgent progress report to make. Every time I take my eyes off Wazzy, he runs off to get on the rides. Oh, don't be such a cop. It's not like I'm going to burn the park down. We're still making our rounds, aren't we? What's the harm in having a little bit of fun along the way? Wazzy, we are the cops, not to mention on duty. We can be on duty while riding. Speaking of duty, you have a pair of children approaching on your nine. 
It's Mishy. Oh, look, Michette's here, too. Looks like Henri. Or P. My hide and seek skills need refining. Super kick! Wait, no. <laughs> Hold on a sec. You can't just assault Mishy. Why would you even do that? Did nobody ever tell you kicking Mishy brings you good luck? Everyone knows it's stored in his butt. That's why you gotta boot it all out. Haha. God, what you need to stop this up anyway? Hey, do you think it works the same with Michette too? I need to do something. How would Mishy deal with this? Tickle them. Mishy has a way of defending himself from kicks. It's this. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Ha 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 ha. Wow, it's Mishy's famous Mishy glitchy or gitchy goo attack. Run away! Ugh, that'll show him. I didn't realize playing kick the mascot was going to be part of this job too. Well, you should have. That's been one of the park's recent fads. Well, them's the breaks. For the record, I did try to help. Did I handle that okay, though? I was just making it up as I went along. It was fine. What you did was far more preferable than losing your temper with them. Mishy is a kind of gentle being. Driving children away by force would have been unacceptable. Your judgment served you well, Lloyd. Oh, thanks, I try. I'm just glad they didn't end up kicking Tio too. Thanks to Lloyd's dashing rescue, of course, perhaps we should add Sister Complex to his rapidly expanding list of pro proclivities. Uh, no, we are we already have one Sister Complex, thanks. We have Reen already. Mishy and Michette are the siblings here, not us. Incidentally, my research indicated that Mishy's posterior is resistant to strikes and impacts. It hurt less than you expected, no? Uh, yeah, you're right. They must have put extra padding in the costume. No wonder it's much thicker down there. Oh, uh, look at the time. We should make our way to the next area, Lloyd. Remember to keep in mind how tight our morning schedule is. Right, I won't. See you guys later. Knock him dead, Lloyd. You too, Tio. Alright, back to sneaking on rides for me. Wazzy's like me. Oh, hey, guys. Nice hustle out there, superstar. You two look like you've had enough, uh, a hard day of work. How would you say it's been going so far? It's a little harder than I imagined. The costume gets toasty like you wouldn't believe. Need I remind you, Lloyd, this is not a pleasant stroll we're taking around the park right now. You have to act as friendly as possible while simultaneously making the park guests feel lucky just to have seen you. Right, I'll try my best. <clears throat> There's no room for error with Tia when one Smishy comes in the picture, is there? Do what you can to keep up, Lloyd, or else Tia Todd's gonna have you strung up and dry in front of the horror coaster. Oh wow, it's Mishy. Or, oh look, it's Mishy. Oh hey, older people. Oh, good job, Tio. Hey, you're right. Lucky us running into him two steps off the Ferris wheel. Aw, oh, he's so cute. We just have to get a photo with him. Sure thing. Let's do it. Excuse me. Do you think you'd take a picture for us? I'd love to. A picture? Okay, stay calm. What would Mishy do in this situation? Uh, stand between them. This is gonna go down as the day we finally met Mishy. Okay, smile for the camera. Everyone all ready? Say cheese. Thanks for all the help. Yeah, what she said. <clears throat> You're welcome, here you are. Uh, did I do okay? As the living symbol of the theme park, Mishy is in and of himself a walking attraction. Knowing that the impartial chorus of action in cases like these is to stand directly between the guests. It makes me proud to see you adapting so quickly in the ways of the Mishamalite? 
Ah, I'm honored, I think. Well, as long as you have Tio with you, I think you'll be fine. Good luck, you two. We'll keep an eye out. Haha, <laughs> yeah. You have fun on your date, and we'll have fun on ours. No, we will not. Yeesh, at least let me buy you a Bell Cola before you shut me down. Okay, then. Let's try to get not to let them or anyone else down. Yes, off to the next location. Oh, hey, it's uh, the people we've met already. Sorry for the delay, everyone. This is a moment you've all been waiting for. Mishy and Michette are going to do the Mishy dance. Yay, Mishy! They're so cute. Here we go, the dance routine. Or I'm trying to start the tense up. It should be fine. The Mishy dance is usually improvised anyway. There are some guidelines, but I'm sure you'll manage if you use common sense. Guidelines, huh? That's right, they gave us a manual about that before the job. If I could just recall what it said. Okay, everyone, all together now. Mishy and Mishette, bring it home. Without looking, I believe it said to make a wishy with Mishy something. Are you ready, Tio? Remember to dance with passion and pizzazz. Roger. They sure are moving. Now for Mishy's catchphrase. It's the last one. Let's dance and make a wishy with Mishy. Let's dance and make a wishy with Mishy. I knew you could do it, Lloyd. You have attained total misalignment. Lloyd and Tio's passionate dance brought the show to a successful close. Having fulfilled his role to perfection, Lloyd held his head high, knowing he was able to make the park's visitors wish he, who wishies come true. <clears throat> Once things were winding down, the two substitute mascots made their way to the rest area. Yeah, I think we managed to pull that one off. Well done. Dancing in a mascot costume was more daunting than I had realized. You can say that again. I'm burning up in here. How does the usual guy do this every day? He must be made of some real stern stuff. I would imagine so. Hey, Mishy Michette. Hey. Oh, it's you, Mr. Hanks. Good job out there, kids. You did great. <clears throat> Michette's been all anybody's been talking about today. The park guests couldn't get enough of her. Of me, really? Yeah, they said the whole cool and aloof shtick Michette would lapse... In, uh, into around Mishy drove them wild. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe this is a sign we should sit down and rethink Michette's entire character. Haha, <laughs> fancy that. <clears throat> I am happy to be of service. Incidentally, have you heard back from the usual actor? Oh, I almost forgot he came in a little while ago. He said he wanted to meet you. You should find him waiting in the locker room when you get back. And thanks again for all your help. It's not much, but I hope you'll accept this. Michette plush. We'd be happy to. Thank you, Mr. Hanks. Ready to head back inside, Tio? Yes, let's. Michette mode. Disengage. Ugh, I am drenched in sweat. I think that was the most effort you've ever given on a support request. You did good out there, Tio. Perhaps, but your mehi mimicry was is exceptionally superb, Lloyd. It was an honor and a privilege to share the Mishy dance with you. Come on now, you're going to make me blush. Anyway, I think it's about time we rejoin the others. Is the usual Mishy actor still not here yet? Not that I've seen. He appears to be running late. Gahaha, sorry to keep you kids waiting. Ah. Uh, literally, up. Uh. Belch. Excuse me, uh, for that, better out than in, though, right, eh? Turns out the pills I've been taking don't work unless I have them after a meal. 
skip breakfast too, so I wound up wolfing down uh, a lunch like you wouldn't believe. Anyway, is my costume in the locker? What's with the looks? You ain't never seen a professional mascot before? Come to think of it, I feel like I recognize your faces from somewhere or another. Well, whatever. I your kids big time. Can't have Michelin Wonderland with no Michi after all. Nice work filling in for me, boy Oh, Yeah, ha, ha. Whoops, would you look at the time? I gotta get changed to prep for the afternoon shift. They're just blown away that it's this guy. Transformation complete. Thanks again, mister. You too, little missy. You really saved my fur. You can just leave the rest to me. Me he he. See you later. What a pro. His voice sounded like it shifted three whole octaves. That guy's a real mission, no doubt about it, but went out of costume. He's not even from the same universe. Well, that was something. I feel like we just uncovered one of Crossbell's dirtiest secrets. Anyway, let's go meet up with the others, shall we? I think Tio is just dumbstruck by what just happened. lagging behind there. Still no words. Yo, Lloyd, something happened to Tio Tot? She's been like that ever since we got back on the cruise ship. You're right, it's like she's staring off into space, eyes empty. I believe that's what we call the look of desolation. Well, let's just say she's been through a lot today. Tio, are you sick? Should we take you to a doctor? No, I will survive. I was a bit bewildered, but I believe I managed to come to terms with it. This is merely a single rung on the ladder to adulthood. <laughs> realize it, yeah, just realizing Mishy is not real and that there's a person in there. All right, so that makes, I believe that's it for all of our, obviously besides the food one we have to finish tomorrow. Yep, that's all of our support requests complete. So uh, now all we have to do is head over to the doll studio and see where the story takes us. So we're going to do that next time. So oh, how do we get that? How do we get in the grass over there? There's a chest. Is there a... Uh, how do you get in that grass? How do you get in there? There's gotta be a way eventually you'll be able to get in there. All right. I guess I won't worry about it for right now. All right, so next time we're gonna head over to the doll studio and see what we can learn. Um, you know, just about essentially everything kind of going on right now. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's gonna be it guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.